Hi guys, Smith Kelly, welcome to the fourth round of the XRL Former C League, and today I'm at the Nurburgring. Now, last round at Beno, I finished in seventh place, which wasn't great. Could have finished fifth, but I messed up on the first corner at the last lap, so lost two positions, which was unfortunate. I also didn't practice that much, which didn't help and probably cost me a couple of positions as well, because the pace wasn't that great. So, hopefully though today I can have a good result. I don't like the track, but I've practiced quite a lot, so let's see as uh, we head into qualifying now. So obviously want to get a good exit out the last turn, cross the f start finish straight line, so heading down towards turn one. I put the car in the middle of the track, preparing for turn one. Shift down to gear two, and then turn two is not that far away, left hander pretty tricky you don't it's quite easy to run on the runoff but thankfully keep it within the white lines and then turn three and turn four so these are quite tricky quite tight easy to run wide but uh, thankfully keep it all on the track so now heading for turn six and turn seven and not looking bad so far, but the first sector was slightly slower than my uh, best first sector in the session, but not really that noticeable. But anyway, heading out of the Dunlop curve towards the Schumacher S is uphill now, so the Schumacher S turn 9 and 10. Decent line, so now heading towards turn 11, uphill, uphill still, so quite tricky this is, but get quite close to the curb hit the apex so preparing for turn 12 11 12 quite tricky but did take a little bit of curb there which I didn't need to which might have cost me a hundred or two I'm not really too sure not much but heading uphill now for the chicane which really can gain you a lot of time if you get it right and take it pretty well the first part and the second part was quite good so heading out to the chicane and I'm green in the second sector but let's see how I do in the final sector, which is all important if I want to get pole. So coming across the line now, and I get provisional pole at that moment, which was a 46.9. And you'll see I actually got pole by just over a tenth, which obviously very close between me and Jerome, Jerome, Jeronimo. Um, Davey was two tenths back behind Jerome, so obviously still close, so he could be with a shot of winning the Grand Prix but anyway poor start I got a lot of wheel spinning first gear shift up to second but thankfully the cars behind didn't get too much of a good start C jumps Jerome so heading into turn one now I you see defend the inside line so thankfully kept first position heading out of turn one C already about a second behind so looking good so far but obviously I need to sort of break out the slipstream range at the straight because he can really gain a lot of time if he's in the slipstream but about 1.1 now heading on to lap 3 and he's caught up a little bit not really any mistakes I was fuel saving obviously this you've got to fuel save a lot on this track because the fuel is important you don't want to pit so I've, I had to fuel save quite a lot not many really fuel saving areas as like there was in Beno but still you've got to save fuel anyway that last clip C was attacking me but didn't really make a move and again it's all over me but trying to just build the gap to him as about four attempts uh, uh, behind me so hopefully I can pull away as you can see now I made a little bit of a poor exit there and he was quite close but thankfully managed to defend the inside he didn't make a move other drivers might have but he didn't so thankfully he's still behind but now heading on to lap 10 and the gap has gone to 1.2 1.3 seconds which was crucial because really if a car's within about 8 or 9 tenths they can close about 4 tenths up with the slipstream which what he was actually doing really I was ga gaining on him throughout most of the uh, track but on the straight he was gaining loads of time back so I wasn't actually pulling away from him but I don't know what happened I seemed to just pull away from him for about lap 9, lap 10 and really thankfully 
it's worked well, but you'll see now. Seven second gap, but there's just an example how much fuel saving I'm doing lifting off on the end of the straight, trying to save as much fuel as I can because obviously, you know, you need to save fuel, as I mentioned earlier, to not pit, but this track's quite hard because there's not, there's only really the straights where you can fuel save really efficiently. I was short shifting a lot, but it didn't really t seem to do much. I don't think the short shifting was as effective as it was at Burno, but, you know, really, this was definitely harder because obviously there's only two sort of straights where you can lift off and but no, there's quite a lot of medium sort of length straight where you can save fuel which was easier for me but uh, thankfully I have enough fuel to go for the fastest lap on the last lap so hopefully I can do that so this is the attempt at the fastest lap not much that's happened in this race actually which was uh, for me you know obviously good because you don't want um, too much of a battle when you're leading the race if you know don't make for good viewing but to be honest if, if, I think if winning is more important than uh, a good race really to watch but depends if you're a viewer or if you're a racer but anyway heading out of turn seven and scatter goals move over to the right hand side so he's a lap car but yeah, just trying to really go and uh, push for this fastest lap. I wasn't actually saving fuel to go for the fastest lap, but I realised that I had enough fuel, so I thought I might as well try and go for it, because if you didn't know the fastest lap gains you an extra point, so obviously all points count in the championship battle. Um, you know, so you might think, oh, one point's one point, but still, you know, as we've seen in previous seasons in F1, that, you know, you can win and lose the championship by one point. But anyway, really, d it's a decent lap, green in all sectors. I think my uh, best lap was a 47.4, but not really that quick. But obviously, I was fuel saving for you know every lap, so that's why the laps weren't quick. But hopefully, this can nick me that la that single point. So coming out of the final turn to cross the line to take the win. Let's see if I've got the fastest lap as well. And yes, I did. I got the fastest lap by four temps. I think I believe Jerome had the second fastest lap of a 47.5. And yeah, leading the championship. Obviously, Firepun weren't racing, which was a shame. Um, Steve, Davey, also, who's been quick last couple of races, disconnected in qualifying, which he probably could have got a good result as well. So that was a shame. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to try and attempt to win the next one as well at uh, Le Circuit Bugatti which is a short version of the Le Mans circuit so anyway thanks for watching and goodbye